Hey, welcome to the weekly. This is Scott. Uh, we're going to wait just for a second to see if uh, anybody jumps on. And uh, just wait and just for a couple of seconds and see if anybody jumps on. If you jump on, just please let me know you're there and then we can kind of get started. I uh, just want to give you a couple of thoughts for the weekly uh, today. And um, just a lot going on in the earth and um, a lot happening all over the world. And, uh, you know, we, we desire for these weeklies to be an encouragement to you. These are not the end all. These are not your, um, uh, these are not your teachings for the rest of your life or these are not going to make everything okay. We just kind of feel like that these uh, can be an encouragement to you in your life. And so hopefully you're encouraged by these. Hopefully you share these with your friends and hopefully they're encouraged by these things. We, we feel like God is always doing something on the earth. Like God is always doing something on the earth. He's always doing something around us. And many times he's just waiting for us to participate in what he's already doing. Now, some people would say, well, I just can't see God. I can't see God moving in the current political climate. I can't see God uh, moving in the current uh, social construct that we see, especially in America. I, I just can't see God moving. And I think a lot of times what happens is we're just kind of looking with our own normal, regular, natural eyes and not seeing beyond that to, to the things that God really is doing. You know, there are so many incredible things happening every single day in cities all across America that you never hear about. You never see any stories about them. You never hear any media reports about them. But people are doing amazing things in our nation. And sometimes we only think that those things that are being reported, those are the only things that are going on in the earth. And that's just not true. And I, I just want to be an encouragement to you today that wherever you are today, wherever you go, whatever you do, God is already there and He is already doing something. And once you arrive at that place, wherever it may be, it may be your job, it may be your school, it may be the local coffee shop, it may be Walmart, it may, wherever it may be, God is already doing something. And you simply have to participate. You just simply have to step in and participate in what He's already doing. And then when we begin to do those things and step out and begin to do those things, then we can really see what God is actually doing. And then once we do that, then we can be a part of that. We can be a part of that doing, like what God is actually doing in people's lives. We can then become a part of that. And so uh, this word is very simple this week. Um, you know, we have talked on the weekly and we talk about it all the time at the Healing Place about being who God created you to be and knowing what God is saying and then doing what God says. And that's easier said than done many times. I understand that doing what God says is very difficult. It's very hard. And uh, sometimes it can feel um, very lonely in, when you do what God tells you to do because nobody understands. And I want to just um, tell you today that in my life, there are many times where God kind of lets me in on things that He's doing. And, and I don't know why He chose me and I don't know why... Uh, God chooses me to see certain things or hear certain things, but there are many times where God um, lets me in on what He's doing and I see it. And as I begin to express it to people around me, um, there are many times they just can't get it. They can't see it. And sometimes that can be very discouraging. You know, there's sometimes that, that you, you speak what God is telling you to speak and you um, and, and you share with your friends what you feel like God is wanting you to share. and Maybe it's not the reaction that you desire to get from them. And, and that can be discouraging sometimes. And that can, that can make you not want to share what God is telling you uh, to say or do. But I, I just want to tell you that, that you've got to press through all of that. And you have to get past people's reactions or their responses and simply be obedient to what God is saying to do. You know, one of the main things in knowing what God is saying is being who God created you to be, uh, walking the life, walking out the life that God created you to live. And many times uh, what that means is that means that it's the hard choices every single day. It's the difficult things that no one else is willing to do or say that, that you have to because you know what God is doing. 
And so today my, my word for you is to keep on, keep doing. Wherever you go, always be on the lookout for what God is doing because He's doing something uh, every single day, everywhere. And, um, and, and, and so I, um, you know, sometimes we, I get on here and people see me as pastor or they see me whatever and not just as Scott, but I, I want to tell you that I've been through some very difficult things in my life. And I've been through some very difficult choices. And I've, I've been entrusted to make choices for not only myself, but for many other people. Um, I've been entrusted at times with making decisions for hundreds of people. Um, and, and having to know what God is really saying. And not being swayed by, by what maybe opinion says, but really listening to what God is saying. And then doing what He says. Because I know in my life, and I'm sure this is true of you as well, that when I know what God is saying and I don't do it, it is so uh, depressing. It's so discouraging. When I know what God is telling me to do and I don't do it, and and I, I just find myself in this place of, of just being like, man, God, I, are you serious? I mean, how could I not do what you were saying? How could I not respond to, to what you were saying? And today I'm just trying to be very transparent with you today. And so whether you're watching this live or, or maybe, uh, maybe you watch this a little bit later or maybe you watch this a couple days from now, whenever you're watching this, the word is the same. Uh, do what God says and get involved. Participate in what God is doing. You know, today I was, um, I was anxious about something today. And, you know, God is really speaking some pretty um, interesting things to me right now. And, and speaking some very interesting things to the church where I, where I serve, the healing place. And um, in that, when God begins to tell you things, you want to try to figure it out. You want to try to put it all in place and kind of want to put everything in its place and get it all nice and tidy. And a lot of times that's not what God has, you know. He, he, wants, you to, he wants you to stretch and He wants you to go beyond your comfort zone to get into a place where you can really hear what He's saying for real. And today I found myself being anxious about what God is saying and, and trying to kind of fit it into a construct that would make sense to me. And it just wasn't happening today. And I, I just felt this um, anxiousness come upon me. And, and the moment I did, I, I saw a message from a friend of mine um, who lives uh, in another state. And the, and the message was this, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I was like, wow, what a perfect timing. You know, God was even doing something in the middle of me being anxious. God was doing something. I simply had to participate in what He was saying and doing. And so what God was saying in that moment and what He was doing in that moment was be anxious for nothing. Like in that moment of being anxious, He was already giving me the answer to be anxious for nothing. No thing, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, not meetings, not strategies, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, that's so important, with the thanksgiving. Like when we are thankful to God for things that we don't even understand, when we're thankful to God for things that may hurt and, and we may not understand, then that's where we're in the perfect will of God. Uh, the Word of God is clear. In all things give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. And so today in my, in my anxiousness of strategies and planning and trying to get everything perfect and in order, the Lord was saying, be anxious for nothing, Scott. But in prayer and supplication, and really what the Lord was telling me to do is, you need to, you need to get into your, your place with me of prayer. You need to be thankful for what I've done and what I'm saying to you. You know, I'm, I'm very clear about what God is saying to me right now, but I'm not so clear of how He wants to work that out. And, and for me, the way my mind works, that, that drives me crazy because I, I want what He's saying to me to fit a construct so I can make it happen. And God's just saying, be patient. You know, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, thankful for the result even before the result comes and that's a hard thing for us to do and so today i i just want to tell you participate 
Don't be a spectator in what God is doing. Participate in what God is doing. And in all of that, and as you hear God speaking, and as you hear God saying things to you, and you know what he's saying, but you, you haven't figured out how to put it all into place, I would say be anxious for nothing. But in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request, make your request known to God. And as we do that, then God begins to show us where everything fits. He doesn't let us fit everything where it goes before the prayer and supplication and the thanksgiving. It's after that. And so uh, today I'm going into prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And I'm going to make my requests known to God. And as I do that, I'll be encouraged. Um, I will be encouraged uh, in the Lord. I will be encouraged by Him. And I will encourage myself in Him so that I can participate in what God is doing. God never called any of us to sit on the sidelines. God called all of us to be a part of what He's doing, to have an active uh, participation in what He is doing on the earth. And God has something for you to do today. It may not be across the world. It may not be... um, It may not be that big, grand thing that you want it to be, but God has something for you. And normally, it's everyday life, everyday choices, the simplest, smallest things that God desires to use to get you in the game, to get you to participate, to, to get you to the place where you can actually see that God is doing something everywhere, all the time. And, uh, So that's just my story today. I hope you uh, take this word and not just take it, but I hope you take it, get it into your heart, get it into your spirit, get it into your thought process so that you can activate it in your life. All of these things that we do and and say in the weekly, it's not to, to advertise for The Healing Place or advertise for Scott Etheridge or anything else. The reason why we do these every week is to encourage you and to simply express to you what what we feel, what I feel God is saying. And um, so hopefully this word today was a confirmation of what God has been trying to tell you and teach you and just another step in your process. It's just a, it's just another step in your process and because life is all about next steps, taking those next steps, growing growing and growing and growing and each small step leads to the next step which leads to the next step which leads to growing growing and growing and so you know this isn't a sermon it's not a it's not even a life lesson it's just from a very imperfect guy who loves Jesus with all of his heart um, sharing what I feel like God is saying to me and what God is saying to this place that I love so much called the healing place. And so um, we, we love you guys. And uh, hey guys, I think that's Brian, not Brianna there. So thank you, Brian, for, for watching. Uh, Brian and Natalie. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I know who you are, Brian. Don't worry, bud. You're not a stranger. I know who you are. Um, so we thank you all for watching. Uh, take this to heart, pray on it, man. Let God speak to you in the way he wants to speak to you, not the way he wants to, to speak to me, but speak to you. And so whenever you're watching this, however you're watching this, like us, uh, love us, um, comment. Even if this isn't live when you're watching it, please comment uh, because we will get back with you and uh, we will return those, those comments and react to those comments as well. So like us, love us as much as you can. It just gets us traffic and gets it to as many people as possible, which is what we want to do. We want to cast a wider net beyond the healing place and beyond Shreveport to be an encouragement to people in what God is saying to them. So like us, love us, comment, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll grab some extra stuff on there and there's some great stuff on there. And we uh, edit our videos and add some things. And so um, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, THP Media. We think you'll enjoy it and love it. Also, all of our social media platforms, um, as well as mine, um, on Instagram and Twitter, and of course, Facebook. And so thank you guys for being a part of the online community. And uh, whenever you view this, whenever you watch this, 
be encouraged, participate, get in the game, and and start doing what God is 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 already doing. Get get uh, in the game and participate in what God is doing, and do not be anxious for anything. Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known to God, and He'll give you the answer then. So we love you. We appreciate you guys uh, checking us out, and we will talk to you later.